us go on a little adventure. My name is Dukem, and I'm here to try Lemon Tech for the first time ever. I'm gonna do four grams. I got my little scale right here. We got a shrooms right here, not my lemons right here. Got a little cup right here. My cool ass little rolling tray that I just got. This is Nikki Davis, he does graffiti, and they did a collab, I guess. Uh, I got the box in there I'll talk about later. Got my little grinder I'm gonna grind up. But yeah, let's dive into the lemon tech. From what I've heard with this lemon tech of what you have to do is that you grind up the mushrooms and then once you get them grinded up, you put them into your little place right here. So we're gonna set this, your little cup, or so you will. What we're gonna do is get some of these nice lemons right here. We're gonna cut, cut them up in the halves and then once we get them cut up in the halves, I'm gonna go on and actually get the shrooms out first. Sorry, this is the first time I've ever done this. Like I just said, we're gonna slide all of this over. So first time trier here. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back to y'all with updates periodically throughout my trips and stuff. Like I said, I'm only doing four grams right now. Uh, see how hard they hit me, what the trip is like, what goes through my mind, if it's even strong enough. But yeah. So we're gonna hop into that in just a second. Let me go on and get this right here off of there. Uh, we're just gonna leave that off because I don't know how sensitive the scale is. I literally just bought this scale for this only. Uh, get this turned on right here. And I will bring the camera over here once I get it weighed out to let y'all see as well. So right here's the first one. I got a little hair on it. We don't want no hair on it. That is for sure. Oh, that's two grams right there all by itself. If I can keep it on the freaking thing. Right there, that's 1.8 actually. Then we'll go on and stack that one on there. That's 3.0. Let's keep reaching into my Backpack Boys bag right here that does not have any Backpack Boys in there. Here's some more. We're gonna go on and just put all three pieces on here and see what it comes out to be. That is 3.7. We're getting there. We're getting there. Is that, oh, I'm just getting some. Oh, that's a big boy right there. I don't know if I would like that one right now. But here, let me, uh, I'm gonna take off this, these regular pieces right here, this marshmallow looking. That, that's part of the stem. Actually, we're gonna take off all of these pieces right here. We're gonna try to slide this big boy on. Well, it just all, it just turned off on me. All right, let's get this going again. Let's try this one more time. So we're gonna put the big boy on there first because it's a 1.4 right there. We'll, we'll stack that one on there. That's a 3.4 right there. We'll get that one on there. That is a 4.4 right there. And we're just gonna go on and go for it. Well, let's, let's, let's go on and go. Let's add that little bit. It's probably a 4.5. Yep, it just hopped up to 4.5 right there we go. All right, we'll drop them back into this bag. Seal it up. Drop this back into this. This is a vintage cheese uh, container that I gotten from a long time ago. I don't know what year it's from or anything, but if you know, like, when did they used to store cheese like this? But it, it's pretty cool. It's a, uh, it's made out of clay, and really nice. I don't know. Anyways, right here is the mushrooms. Pull this over here. Let y'all see. Four point five. Going down the hatch in the lemon tech. All right. So now we have that on here. We're gonna get this all grinded up. Slide this up a little bit. Put these right here, them or right there and there. Uh, let's break this stem off right here. Break this stem off right here. Break, put them all right there. We're gonna grind this one up. Dump it. And 
And then we're gonna dump it right here into our little cup. I like our little tea cup we got right here. It's got some apples, some grapes, pears, cherries on it. Pretty neat little crystal cup. And yeah, and it's crystal. It's made out of crystal. If that makes anything to y'all, if it means anything to y'all. But oh man. Okay, so we're getting it. It's getting caked up on the sides right here, so I gotta scrape that off, definitely. Yep, so like I said, this is Lemon Tech first tryer. Uh, if, if it goes well, I will be doing this out in the woods while camping. Get a little bit of nature going, you know what I'm saying? I would love to be out in nature trying this. The fungi in nature. There we go, I got that piece out, it was stuck. It got a little caked up on there. But, there we go, we'll get this all. And now they said, whenever I was looking this stuff up, that the citric acid in the lemons, the more citric acid, I guess, it would be, the the stronger it is, the faster this will hit you. Uh, the, the psilocybin in it, 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 it bonds to the citric acid, I believe. And it just creates for a better, stronger experience. Uh, as from my understanding. Now, I will be doing a lot more research as I do these more and more. I've done mushrooms plenty in the past. Like I said, this is literally the first time I've ever done this. So I'm just trying to get them all grinded up nice and proper. Everything's nice and neat. And yeah. So there we go. So my wife just brought me a piece of paper. She got, uh, she just let me know about my jar. And I love my jars because I love anything that I can put uh, cannabis or mushrooms and stuff in. Uh, I got, it's a vintage ceramic jar. It's probably around like 1800s, mid 1800s to late 1800s. And I only got it for a dollar at a yard sale, which was pretty lit. But here, look, so we got these pretty much ground up in here. We're gonna unscrew this. Oh yeah, there's the dust right there. We're gonna flip the dust over. Oh, we can't be losing no psilocybin, you know what I'm saying? Gotta put it all in there. Got the mushrooms down right there. Now we're gonna go on and screw that back on there. Four and a half grams going down the hatch. Here, let's break these up just a tiny bit better. So then maybe they'll break up easier in the grinder. I'm gonna get me an electric grinder eventually to turn it more to a dust and a finer powder. That's what I noticed on the video, what they were using. Uh, if I could find the, oh my God. Oh, if I could find, if I can find the video, I will link it or put it in the comments down below or whatever. Uh, if you're new to my videos, please like and subscribe. Uh, please subscribe. Subscriptions go a long ways. Uh, eventually I'll start to be doing giveaways more and stuff like that. Uh, I go out in the woods a lot. I post gaming videos. Uh, cannabis, love it. Uh, mushrooms, love them. This is more of a thing that I do to reset myself. Uh, and I let them choose when they wanna do it. So I can feel my body basically like or it calling out to my body, if that makes sense. Anybody that's done them would know more and, uh, and understand. And definitely check out some of my other videos. It's def uh, me camping, hiking, videos out on the lake, you know, kayaking. There's all kinds of stuff always going on with me. And, and these things are hard to grind up. I'm not going to lie. They're, they're a little different to grind up. A lot of bushcraft will be happening, so y'all be catching me tripping sometimes out in the woods, and y'all can trip with me. Y'all can smoke right along with me while I'm out in the woods exploring. Y'all can come exploring with me. That's what I love to do is be able to take y'all exploring with me so I can show all the outside world, teach y'all a couple of things because I do like to teach the bushcraft side of it and the aspect of things as well. And besides that, this is all my channel's about. The things that I love. You know what I'm saying? But that's the way it should be. And that's why I would love for it. If you do want to subscribe. And that's if y'all want to become a homie. Y'all want to just hang out. I'm always going to be here to hang out with y'all. Y'all can follow me on my other socials as well. Everything is at Smokey Dukums. 
Uh, y'all give me a follow on anything. Reach out if y'all ever need any help with anything. Let me know if y'all are going on camping trips or anything. Let me know what y'all would, what y'all think y'all would need, or or if y'all have any questions of like what y'all would need. Let me know. Like I will definitely be able to help y'all out in some kind of aspect or regard. Still trying to get these all ground up. They are not cooperating very well, are they? I don't have a uh, internet where we live. Yeah, they don't offer a spectrum. I just play on a hotspot and stuff on the game. Uh, so, I don't get to upload as much as I would really love to. I won't get to stream at all, period. And anything like that. So, this is why I ask for y'all to like and subscribe to my videos. Because, I, I, literally, I can't do anything else but upload these videos. And that's whenever I go into town and I get good enough service to get the video uploaded within a good time frame because if i'm out here where i live to upload the video it'd take 24 plus hours just even sitting in the window and me not messing with it the whole time so i'll be your favorite outdoor smoner st smoner i'll be your yeah smoner basically stoner and shrooms right there smoners i'll be your favorite i'm out here all the time trying to post these videos and just go camping and get out in nature Y'all want to sit back and relax and just chill? I will be here. Sorry that I'm not in the video as much my face. Uh, I'm just wanting to give this. Now this is a big old clump of it as well. Let's make sure all of it goes in there. Fuck. Well, we're trying. We're trying. Okay. If this is looking like a struggle, it's because it is. It is a, it's very much a struggle. The only other way that I've taken mushrooms is with uh, fruit roll-ups. That's the only thing I've ever used And taking mushrooms is fruit roll-ups and eating them. Uh, the last thing I've done was watch Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Like, that was the most amazing movie to me. And I won't watch any of the other Spider-Man, like the Spider-Verse movies at all, period, without eating mushrooms first. Like, I just, I haven't watched this new one that came out at all yet. And I really want to. So, that might be on the agenda tonight. Who knows? I might just sit here and chill, hang out, vibe out. Let's see how this one has broken up in here. Oh, the same way. But this is a, more of a cap instead of a, uh, just a stem. So, it's breaking up a little bit easier, I guess. It makes a difference. Breaking up the caps versus the stems. I want to put that up the scale. And now... We're done grinding up the last one. Now that it is fully grinded and ready to go, we're gonna dump this in there. All right, and then we're gonna unscrew this part and it's full again like the other one. Now this thing has been being full, that's for sure. You just don't wanna dump it all over the place like I just did the other one. Okay. No, we need to tap, tap, tap because I don't want to smoke this shit later. There we go. Tap, tap, tap. There we go. Let me know down in the comments. Have you ever tried mushrooms before? Or what is your preferred thing? Or do you do anything at all? There ain't nothing wrong with that either. As you can see, we got it all grinded up right here. And it's very, it's soft. I mean, it's it's mushroom, of course. You know, I, I, if you touch the mushroom, you would know what it feels like. We're going to go on and get not one lemon. Not, or well, definitely not that lemon, period. Not two lemons. But three lemons. And we're going to squeeze it in here. I don't know how much it's actually going to take. It might even take more than these three lemons. But I want to see, get this filled up with some liquid just it, it, so I could just drink it and not have no paste like type thing in it or nothing like that. I want to go on and, here, let's go on and cut through this now, right here. Uh, maybe cut one more because it'll make it easier to, make it easier to squeeze out. 
Well, there it goes. First, lemon squeezed into the thing to my cup of mushrooms. And remember, this is only four and a half grams. Uh, and I say only, but I mean, it, if they're strong, it's gonna be a great trip. If they're not, it's still gonna be a great trip, but it won't be as good as the one that's for whatever it's called. Here, let's go on and cut this one. Let's go on and get this one. It's already starting to pool in here, so oh, I missed some of the juice in this one, so. It's all stirred up. Yeah, it's a paste right now, so it's definitely going to need. We're going to need a lot more. Unless I just want to eat some lemon mushrooms like this. I should have just bought the little lemon juice thing, but I wanted fresh lemons. Fresh lemon juice. So, if I'm going to do it, I need to do it right the first time. Okay, there's the third lemon fully cut up. They say seedless, but I found a seed right here. And fucking liars. Nope, never mind. That's just darkness. They are not liars. They are telling the truth. Also, right now I'm trying to go for 30,000 kills in one season with Horizon on Apex Legends. So I'm sorry in advance for the lack of outdoor nature videos. My gamer side has taken a hold of me. All right, I apologize. Look, now it's pulling up pretty good now. I might have to use one more. We will see in just one second. Oh, yeah. There's that. Now, now we got it all. Now it's basically a juice. We're going to go on and use this last one just to go on and get it in there. Uh, I'm going to let my wife pick it because I'm not sure which one would be the better one. Probably this one. Okay. So there we go, my wife has chosen the perfect one. And I used the whole bag of lemons basically. So whenever you do this, depending on how much mushroom you plan on grinding up, uh, definitely prepare uh, with having enough lemons. Uh, like I said, like if you're doing just two grams, you're not gonna need, but like maybe three lemons. Go an extra lemon per gram that you're doing. So one gram, do two lemons. Two grams, do three lemons. So on and so forth. That's just from my understanding right now doing this. Uh, there ain't no method to that madness. Double squeeze this. I'm going and get it over with. Oh, yeah. There we go. That is in there. Here it is. I have the lemon tech right here we're gonna go on and dump the rest of this lemon juice right there into there and cheers down the hatch 4.5 lemon tech mushrooms not sure of the stream here goes nothing hmm. does make it a lot easier to get down Oh, it is Woo. sour because of the lemon, of course, but I'm getting them down. So I'll see y'all on the other side. So at the moment, I'm starting to feel like the fingers come in from my peripherals. Like if you know what I'm saying, if you've tripped before, on my body, I could feel like hotness or the I could feel coolness again. Like I feel hot and then cold. Uh, I'm getting antsy. I'm getting... I'm starting to feel more and more. A little nauseous, definitely. I don't know if that's from the the lemon but it's definitely getting harder to talk uh yeah so i'll catch y'all in the middle of the trip if i remember to <laughs> thank y'all for watching so far it's only been around 30 minutes ish 
so yeah kick it in a little bit faster definitely uh, about a 15 minute faster interval versus eating them to me but yeah i'll just catch y'all later so it's the next day last night got very interesting uh i was pouring sweat it was a bad trip all in all uh pouring sweat super nauseous started throwing up uh after that last part i recorded i, I just yeah i laid down and i curled up and i turned on nate shot playing call of duty and i mean it helped calm me down uh, i took about three hours and i finally came back to around nine nine ish uh p.m but i took them at six thirty ish maybe seven uh after i had got done grinding them all up and drinking it with the lemon tech I'm not sure if it was just too much lemon juice. I got way, way too nauseous. And plus doing 4.5 with lemon tech, uh, they say to do a lower dose because it it doubles the effect or the amount uh, because of the citric acid. And so yeah, next time, I'm, I mean, it was a great experiment. It was something that I've learned, I learned from it definitely. Uh, I don't want to go into too much detail about my findings and the things that I learned because it's personal to me. But I mean, it did. I, I mean, I started having visuals. I had crazy visuals, but the overall sickness was horrible. So for me, or or uh, in my opinion, to you, even y'all, uh, like taking a normal dose of a 4.5 with like uh, maybe a peanut butter sandwich or uh, fruit roll-ups. That's probably going to be a good idea. Uh, it will come up slower. The, the high will come up slower. The trip will come up slower. And it will be an overall more ex enjoyable experience. It lasts longer. Uh, personally, so far, I, that's what I've experienced. This first time doing Lemon Tech, I did the same amount that I would normally do. But they've already said on videos that I've watched and research that I've done to do half of what you would normally do. So I should have done around 2 grams, 2.5 instead and yeah i just went hard so it basically ramped up to be like eight to eight point or maybe nine grams and it i mean yeah visuals are great and uh, every time i closed my eyes i felt like you know, my world was true everything was wonderful but it's just the nausea and me sweat like i poured sweat like i was basically like my my wife called and we started doing looking up a bunch of stuff seeing what was going on because she didn't know if she needed to take me to the doctor or not and but uh, with the lemon tech it does come and go very fast very intense uh, i will be doing a lot less next time uh, it'll be a two gram lemon tech and more micro dosing with it uh, uh but all in all whenever i do take a regular amount i will be doing it with fruit roll-ups that's how i've done it in the past never been broken so and if it ain't broke don't fix it so I will be doing it with fruit roll-ups. I just get the big square ones, the sheets for the fruit roll-ups, and then I'll take like uh, four or five mushrooms or whatever, whatever I'm going out, 4.5. And I'll try to split it up into like two fruit roll-ups or three fruit roll-ups. And I'll just roll it up like a blunt, like a joint basically, and eat it. <laughs> and I mean, it, I have better effects than that. And, I, and I'll get giggly and laughing and want to be more energetic and stuff like i said this time this was my first bad trip great i have an experience i've learned a lot more things about it and yeah overall i do recommend it uh for the lemon tech for the more advanced users if they have never tried it like if you've only ate them normal like uh, uh but definitely go half back like don't don't sit there and try to do a normal amount or more because you will get sick i mean i guess i i, I mean from what i've done in the research looking stuff up and everything that's what popped up like everybody the number one side effect was nausea and yeah it just sucked i ain't even gonna lie i can't i can't lie it, it sucked but all in all we're here we're vibing for another day and then about six, seven months, I'll probably eat some more. I'll just do a normal trip. I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably throw like three, three point five into a uh, fruit roll up. Uh, not going for four, four point five right now because yeah, last night, man, it really, it kind of worried me. And oh yeah, we're all here. Hell yeah, I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I'm gonna get a good old bong rip skin right here and. Probably get ready for work. I gotta go to work somehow today. Uh, 
we run a construction company, so it's all dependent on when the material gets there, depending on weather, stuff like that, you know, general construction stuff. But, and the kill grind on Apex has been going, it's going. I got 2,700 kills right now uh, in the past week and a half. I'm trying to get to 3,000 and then, or well, by Sunday, I want to be at 4,000 kills. So I got 1,300 kills to get in the next four days. That shouldn't be too hard. I mean, if I keep getting the, the bricks on my team that don't know how to play this game, then yeah, it's going to be very difficult. Other than that, happy to be here. Thank y'all again. Thank y'all again. Thank y'all again for vibing with me again. And got me a little bum rib ski, like I said. We're gonna go and take it over here out of the camera angle just a little bit. We don't we, we want to squeeze past. We want we want everybody to be able to see this to learn. And I hope this was a learning experience, even for y'all. If y'all got something out of this whenever y'all go for y'all's next trip or anything, uh please comment down below. Like what was y'all's worst trip? What was y'all's best trips? Hmm. This will be something more that I do in the future. Maybe even on a nature. Go, maybe even on a nature. Maybe even on a nature hike. Uh, maybe maybe go out camping. Trips mushroom. Never know what's coming up in this future. Never know what's coming up in the future for this channel. Until next time. Peace out, my friends. And cheers.